Hi, I'm Tommy Calloway. Thanks for watching. Uh, so today I'm going to review the Pro FX 8 V2 and I got it over Christmas and I've been using it for a little while now and I really like it. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you how I use it. We're also going to go over how to do a mix minus with just a computer and a mixer uh, and no other equipment um, unless you want to also record it, in which case I'm using the Zoom H6. Uh, but it's it's a really nice piece of equipment. And so up until this point, before before I had the mixer, I've been using the Blue Icicle just to convert my mic into a USB. And I found that it wasn't wasn't the greatest quality. I couldn't monitor it, and it made uh, hooking my speakers up and my headphones at the same time a challenge. So I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on it. If you want the USB capability and you want to be able to do mix minus with just your computer and the mixer, you need to get the Pro FX 8 V2 and not the four channel one because that one doesn't have USB and you won't be able to do what I'm gonna show you in this video. It's called the Pro, the Pro FX 8 V2 because it has effects built in. Uh, I'm gonna listen to myself while I say this so I can hear it. Um, but like you can turn on like uh, reverb and, and echo. echo. Double, double, double echo, 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 echo. echo. It's, it's got some neat effects built in. I don't use them a lot unless I'm trying to screw with people on phone calls. Because if you have the mixer hooked up to your Mac uh, with USB, and then you have the line in from your computer. So I just I just use the effects to mess with people on phone calls. Um, Cause so I have the, the sound coming through my mixer and then I have my microphone hooked up because the way Apple integrated iPhones with Macs is, you know, now you can do phone calls on the Mac. So you can mix your phone calls, you can mix music into the phone calls and you can also, uh, you know, use the effects on your voice and screw with people and say, is there, is there, a, is there an echo on the phone for you too? You know, you, you kind of screw with people, and I'm kind of a nerd. I'm going to show you how you can easily mix minus. So with your, with Skype, um, let's uh, go to preferences, calls, audio, audio, video. Here we go. So you have the um, microphone and the speakers set up as USB, right? Using the actual mixer, and then you have your uh, system audio set up as using the headphone jack and the input being the USB as well. And then you go through to the mixer and where it says USB through on the mixer, you make sure that is unclicked. Uh, then whatever is coming in through USB will not be going back out to USB. So they can have their voice come into the mixer. You'll hear it in your headphones, but then it will not go back into the phone call for them. So they won't get any echo. They won't hear themselves. And then you can also play music over uh, the call if you want. So, you know, they'll, they'll be hearing whatever you're mixing in uh, through USB or uh, through the line. And the line is adjustable so you can turn it up or down. You can also turn their volume up or down uh, if you need to on the Skype call. So now Hello? I have the... Welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. So I can turn them down, I can turn the music up, or vice versa. Back to you. Uh, but they will not hear themselves over and over. Um, and so I think that's super useful, and I haven't found another mixer that's been able to do that, and it's only possible because of the USB connectivity. And I have line outs coming, um, or the headphone jack plugged into the tape in L and R. Um, and that makes it so you can perform this without extra special equipment. So you can have your effects rack or your sounds or whatever you want over here. Um, and it make it just makes it possible. Like that's that's the most exciting thing I found about this mixer as an added feature. I really wanted to get this mixer because uh, using this little thing, I can only get my microphone so loud, and there was kind of a lot of like the gain was grainy. I got a lot of background noise while using my microphone with that uh, blue uh, icicle. And then I have my headphones hooked into the monitor port as well as the XLR outs going to my speakers. Uh, for main so I can I can listen to it on my headphones and then when I want to I can just turn up uh, the mains and have my My main speakers going now I don't have my main speakers turned on right now And this is the only drawback I found with this mixer is you need to have the main fader turned all the way up for the graphic EQ to do anything and That's the only thing that kind of sucks about it, but that's fine Honestly like for the amount of value you get out of this mixer it has uh, it has 48 volts fan and power. I, I turn that on to use my blue spark, and it's 
excellent. It's just, it's just great. You don't need any other type of preamp or anything. This thing will make your headphones so loud that your eardrums will explode. So I always have my headphones turned up maybe like only that much. Uh, so it's you don't need any like headphone preamp or anything. It's all built in. Uh, it's a great mixer. I, I don't need a mixer. I mean, I can make videos without it, but it makes just my experience at my workstation much nicer. If you're doing a mix minus, you need to record. Um, I usually use the Zoom H6 over here, and I just have the the main out channel uh, quarter inch jack plugged into my Zoom H6. Now, I won't get both left and right channels, but usually I'm not, I don't care because I'm not recording stereo. If I did, I'd have to get another cable and plug that into another channel or figure out something else. Um, I guess they have left and right quarter inch jacks to go into XLR, but I haven't found any good ones yet and I just don't care. Um, so that's that's my overview of this mixer. It's really nice. I'll give you I'll give a link in the description for where you can buy it if you want to pick up your own. It's worth every penny. Um, yeah, that's that's all I got. It's Mackie ProFX 8V2. Um, I haven't owned a mixer in the past, so maybe I have nothing to compare it to, but it's worked out great for me. I like it a whole lot. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you're, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys learned something today. Have a great day.